Hey guys, so today I'm going to be coaching a gold player. He's actually X plat 2. Um, I believe he's a flex player, so he plays a lot of roles. Um, but I think his primary role is Sentinel. Uh, we talked about what his primary weaknesses are. He said peaking and positioning. Here's my cat as an added bonus for the intro. Say hi, Felix. Give him a kiss. Mwah. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and join the Discord server, or Discord channel now, and go ahead and get started. Hello? Hey. Hey, how are you doing? I'm alright. How are you? I'm good as well. Um, so you're gold one? I am currently gold one, yes. Okay. Um, I think we talked about, like, your agent pool, and also you said your main weaknesses are positioning and peaking? I would say so, yeah. Okay. So, uh, have you, you've warmed up and you're all good? It's okay yeah. if you want to keep warming up. Okay. I'm good. Um, so you can go ahead and start screen sharing, make sure everything's okay there. Yeah. But, uh, how are you? You doing good? I'm, I'm alright, yeah. Okay. For the most part. So a lot of people are nervous or anxious. So if you feel like that at all, you can just, right. you just play like you're going to normally play a game. And yeah. I'll watch, and yeah. Oh, I haven't seen yeah. the, uh, Lunar New Year thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everything good? Yep. It's all, it looks, yeah. looks pretty good. You can go ahead and start. All right, cool. So you have any questions for me before we start? Um, no, I, I think I generally get the gist, the gist of what's going on. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to watch. I'll try not to talk too much right, while you're right. playing um, yeah. in rounds, but between rounds, I'll say what I think is the main takeaway of the round and you can ask me questions as well. Right. Okay. So you pick agents based on the map, usually? I pick agents based on the map and based on what my team usually goes for. Okay. Like here, I would have liked to have Jet, but eh, it's okay. Um, do you play Sage? I do, yeah. So this is one of the Sage's stronger maps right. on defense yeah, and yeah. on attack, um, but... Yeah. So what else is good here? Um, what else do you play? Well, Viper's I awesome. don't really have a consistent smoke on this map. I don't. I don't know. Okay, so really playing playing Sage is and something that you're, which is something you're more comfortable in. Is it going to be better than uh, play, trying to play smokes then? If you don't have a consistent smoke on this um, map. I'm not too sure. Cause I've done well with smokes on this map, but I'm I don't know. Okay. What do you? What are your options? What are you thinking right now? Also, dodging is completely okay. <laughs> yeah, dodging is something I'm considering, but uh, I'd usually run Astra here, but I had a pretty bad game on Astra last night, so I'm not too sure. Dodge it. Yeah, dodge. I think I might dodge it. Completely fine. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would suggest having, like, being a little more stern with what you want to pick, cause All right. like I know there's a lot of things you could play on this map, but yeah. Maybe if you just pick like two, like Sage is good, and then if you want to play Smokes, I don't know, like Viper is really good on this map, but... I've just, I've never learned Viper on Ice Yeah, so if you don't play Viper, then Astra's fine, but if you're going to yeah. pick Astra, like, be confident on her, for sure. Right, right, right. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, no worries about dodging, though. Dodging is completely okay. I've dodged like three games in a row before. <laughs> uh, and you don't get a penalty yeah. right now, I don't think, so it's really nice. At least for like, yeah, the first I don't few. Know. I don't know. I don't remember what I was at. Yeah, even if you get like a minus three, it's honestly worth. Yeah. So, do you, uh, what's your warm up? How do you usually warm up? Um, I did a bit of a longer version of the same thing today, which is just a bunch of aim labs, and then I train an engine a little bit. Uh, which in aim labs, it's just I warm myself up with a uh, grid shot, and then I go on like six shot and motion direct. Okay. And uh, motion shots, stuff like that. That sounds pretty solid, yeah. So. Yeah. Um. How? So you said you warmed up longer this time today. Yeah, I did warm sense. up a little bit longer. Okay. How long do you usually warm up? Usually, I spend around thirty minutes. Today, I took the entire hour to. Okay, fully that's. Wake up, but yeah, that's, that's that's super solid. No worries there. And that's because, and that's mostly because I woke up late. <laughs> yeah. 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 
So um, I, I, it, it wasn't just warming up; it was me waking up as well. Yeah, fair. So what's what do you what would you consider your strongest role to be? Um, probably my strongest role is most likely going to be sentinels. Yeah, that's though, what I imagined. Yeah, though. Um, you do I think initiators. I'm also very comfortable on. Yeah. Okay. A agents like Sky, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Sova. Okay. So this map's also this is probably Sage's best map. So. Yeah. Ko is interesting. That is <laughs> what is what is happening. Oh no. Standard. I don't like this. Competitive queue. <laughs> Dodge number two incoming. I'm not entirely certain how I feel about this. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the thing. Uh, I would actually like to play Sky here. I do like Sky on this map a lot. Sky is very solid. Sova's not good on this map. Sky is a monster right. on most maps. Yeah, trust me. I, I, I learned how bad Sova was on this map. I played him for 200 hours. On this map or just, like, for in general? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just on, on split, yeah. Yes. I mean, Sova is Sova's a great character, but... Just the way split is designed is not really. Well, I'm not gonna lie. If they if they're like very serious about the KO, I might just uh, change up and maybe go raise, possibly. Okay. So, I know we've talked about like having fewer agent picks. So if you're if you're playing duelist well, I'm gonna take back what I said. But if you're kind of actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do jet. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, but that's, if you're if you're playing if you're struggling a bit mechanically on like these duelists i'm gonna be harping yeah. on you just a little bit that's and fine. i'm gonna keep telling probably telling you to pick more specific roles like it doesn't really matter what you pick i would yeah. just suggest if you want to stick oh. to okay that's fine too <laughs> this happens sometimes of course yeah um flexing is fine but i would stick to like at the very max like two roles uh, right because some roles also overlap with others as well. Like, Initiator kind of overlaps with Duelist, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're kind of like the first one in, but not exactly always on Initiator. Second man, basically. Yeah. Um, the map where I would very much like to have my Killjoy. Oh. So you play just Killjoy as a Sentinel, or do you play other Sentinels as well? Um, I, I kind of play, uh, Sage, but for the most part, Killjoy is my most comfortable Sentinel and the one I play the most. Yeah. Okay. So no Cypher? Like most. No real, no Cypher. I've considered learning him before, but, uh, just never really got around to it, you know? Yeah. No, no, no worries there. Uh, Killjoy is very strong. Unfortunately, no Smokes. I'd much rather go Viper than that right now. You think? Okay. Yeah, I think I, I'm Yeah, you have Sage. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> No so yeah, I uh, I have very little experience on Viper, but I, like, so right. by, by that I mean I don't know like lineups or anything, but right, 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 right. I can help you just in general with some right. standard Viper play, as well yeah. as like where you should probably be positioning and stuff. So mollies are gonna be you know uh, pretty important, right? Timing on the mollies anyway, right? Uh, but otherwise, I'll just kind of see how you set up and. Yeah. Attack first. Okay. So I'm not even aware if this is like a great Viper map or not. I don't particularly um, know. It's but... one of her stronger ones. I don't know if it's her strongest one. Um. Actually, no. Bind is probably her strongest one, but I play Killjoy on Bind, and that is like non-negotiable most times. Yeah. Um. So for what I was gonna say. Um, we want to make sure, yeah, we, we have a good wall here. We make sure our team's on the same page as to where we want to go. Yeah. What's up? How we feeling? Good deer. Okay, I like the comms. That's more than most of the people I coach at the <laughs> beginning of a game. I mean, I, I that's, that's just kind of me. If somebody talks, I'll actually try and start a conversation. Yeah, I'm always the one to try to talk first. Right, right. Makes sense. So yeah, throwing late wall is always good. Just kind of see where you want to go. This is also fine. Yep. Wall up. I got shot mid. There's somebody pushed up mid. Oh, 
fall down. Ah, uh, shit, that was empty. Betray. Um, where'd you shoot the molly? I was actually writing something down. Uh, I was, um... I shot the molly into my, uh, smoke. Oh, okay, so on stairs? Yeah, my orb on stairs. Okay. So, I think, yeah, I think our positioning is a little wonky there. I might have, right. I might have, like, tried to either go back site or... Yeah. Um, play, like, close... Like, on the box, you know, the corner is, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, play theirs, because, like, they're gonna probably swing you. One way or another. So mollying stairs right. is good. They can't come stairs. That means the mm -hmm. only way they're probably going to push is where they did. Right. Also, um, you go ahead. The main reason I stayed up uh, there was because of uh, Rin taking the fight. And I kind of wanted to assist that. Which is my own fault, really. I probably shouldn't have. Alright, so we're buying a stinger. Yeah, I do like to counter for a second round. Uh, it's just to give myself the best chance. Of uh, survival. I'm uh, Marshall mid. Somebody's just pushing with every round. Oh, I am blind. Fuck that. Can ADS with his gun. It's kind of broken. Ah, good trade. So hold tab. Let's see if your team bought with you. So that's one thing. They didn't. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely just say like let's force up. Now you're gonna have to force anyway, but yeah, you guys probably wouldn't that, honestly if you all force. Um, probably, but you can call for know. an A hit honestly and throw the wall. You can also the cool thing you do is Viper is if you've been going B like that two rounds, you can come A wall, and then mm -hmm. make them think you're going A. Um, so now you want to make sure you you wall like at, like right after the round starts, so they right. react late. Why did my mouse spin out? That was weird. Happens to me too. <laughs> oh no. We have mollies. You throw like a molly maybe and try to get someone out of the corner. Okay. Call for a rotate here is probably the best oh, thing. Shit. Yeah, let's get out. Let's get fight out. mid, fight mid or something like that. I'm fighting mid. Good chance one has pushed up cat somewhere. Yep, it's KO. Down. Ah, there was one in this one. Uh, Where's Reyna? Why is Reyna still over here? Hmm. <laughs> That's yeah, interesting. these guys play really aggressive. The enemy team, they've been one push yeah. mid like every round, and then that guy's just yep. all the way through B. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, if you want, you did make the observation that the guy's peeking cast. So if you just want to try to fight him, it seems like you guys are struggling to take sight. Right. Fighting mid is always not a bad option. Mm. I would go deagle. Yeah, this is fine too. If you want to go later, armor. As you can see, I subscribe to the Kami school of four spies. I, I, these, both these guns are completely underrated, and yeah, I don't personally use the Marshall, but uh, I know it's completely broken. Also, the shorty I love. <clears throat> I love the shorty. It's just it. Sometimes it hates me, you know. Yeah, sometimes it's how it is. Nice shot. Okay. Can call to walk A. Walk A, walk A. Probably Where gonna wanna it? rotate here. Back out, back or out. Or just look for kills. Nuts. Pick again. Ask for heal. Can I get heal, Sage? <laughs> Last 
shit. That's unlucky. Good okay. try. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if we're a little quicker, we could insta hit the switch and maybe ulted. Probably. I. I don't know. Switch is kind of the last thing in my mind when I'm going into site, which is probably a bad thing. It's, yeah. Um, usually you want to hit it. Like it's okay if you don't, but yeah, yeah. it's gonna make it easier for them. So, right. um, let's probably buy light armor if we're gonna do this. Cause. No, this is fine. This is fine. If you wanna force up now, you can light armor next. But. Yeah. At least trying to summon by through team is good. So let's. Can we force up a little bit. We can save up next round. Let's say fight mid again. Fight the KO. Shoot fight the mid, knife. Yeah. Try to shoot the knife this time. Right. Could be bottom it as well. He's probably gonna push that. Uh, maybe not actually. No, not sure. He was sword market. I heard something. Oh, that's a flashbang. Yeah, so your team's a little uh, special needs. So we're gonna have to hard carry this game. Good try. Um, there, I probably would have just chilled after you killed I, the, the guy, because th they're going to push you. They're, these guys aren't, aren't really that good. Yeah. And they're getting greedy, because it's 0-4. So are these, are these guys talking at all? No, they're not. Okay. Um, so this is... You, you could probably say, let's just just keep trying to help them. Like, say, let's fight mid, or... I don't know. Um, you can you can always peek from... Again. You can peek um, top cat as well. Let please. me try and shoot the KO dart for me, please. Good, good, because you guys are just running in, so saying something to keep them grounded is good. He said I'll flash, so that's fun. Okay, they didn't shoot the KO dart, that's tough. Not surprising. Let's see where KO's hiding. Flashbang. Tagged one on one, KO. I'm just gonna nice. back out of that fight, I don't think I repeak. Tray. Yeah, that was a very desperate play, play I definitely shouldn't have done. Yeah. And if I was going to go for it, I probably should have had that deagle. <laughs> oh no, that, that sage. Oh no. So I want to see you start top cat, honestly, because most times you want to, yeah. like, obviously play with your team, but right now we're kind of, we're kind of just not playing together. It's right. not your fault. I'm not blaming, like, one person, but your team is just not cohesive. So this is gonna happen a lot in comp. You just kind of have to. Yeah, they also have a, a hard carry. So you yeah. really want to try to kill the jet. We want to try to get kills. Definitely. So I want you to go top cat. Not right now because it's it's a little late. But right. maybe next round. Next round, sure. Usually it's something I give to Duelist, but your aim seems to be pretty good right now. Oh, he tossed it on the wall. It's Fuck. okay. Okay. Damn. Only thing that does is just tell him that you're here. You can walk up here, honestly. Yeah. Oh, I, doubt, I doubt he's close, but... There's one watching. Yeah. We can wait for our team to come out A and then lurk up mid. I think the idea I've got going on... I'm just gonna wait. Because I feel like one of them's probably gonna push here. Uh, I'm gonna step. You're good. Okay, we can fall back, fall back. Okay. Throw an... Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Holy. So uh, that's the teamwork the right there. We should go, we should go A. Or B, we should go B. Yeah, sorry. Back up B, go B, go B. You can just run mid, throw an orb deep mid. Bang. Still have util, we should ult maybe. Yeah. Tell your team to play ult go and res. Pick. I think he should ult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still have mollies as well. Yep. I don't know where that landed. Oh well. Tough. Play, play spike, play spike. Beautiful. So, yeah, ulting. Um, 
Right. This is the same on on any character, just if you can use it. Your ult's powerful, especially on Viper. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. you know how you're gonna know how you play Viper ult more than pretty much any enemy is, because you're the Viper, right? So mm -hmm. you can learn how to outplay people really intelligently with the ult. Right. Uh, so this guy... That's what I was kind of trying to do. I was playing up further than they would expect me to. Go top cat and shoot the KO knife. Because they're gonna... Okay. He's gonna think you're... Actually, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You just play know. how you want. We'll find out. Yeah. Mm. It's fine. I can't really shoot it from there. You just walk up here. The KO's kind of bad, I think. Ooh, okay. Good try. You can call it to fight, fight mid and res. Fight that mid. could be up there. Why did it spawn me facing backwards? That's weird. It's quite weird. Spike down a. I wonder if it just spawns you looking at Sage. I don't know, actually. I've never actually looked. Okay. Mollies, you have mollies. Nice shot. That's revenge. Yep. You can go tiles and uh, just instead yeah. of trying to shoot the knife, just wait it out. Tell your team to wait. If they don't listen, the uh, wait know. for wait for knife. Let's not give them the idea that we're there, and then we peek for him. Exactly. That might give them the idea they can walk up for free from cat and just get a free right. kill. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's, he's gonna autopilot. He's probably muted everyone or something. It's not even a KO knife. Okay. Ooh. Good kill, good kill. Yeah, we can probably walk A, honestly. Like, wall, wall B and just run A. Tell your team to run A. Alright, guys, go around spawn. Never mind. Good try. This is something I've already wrote down is keep your gun out. Um, yeah, I think you're just focused on other things, which is obviously understandable, but yeah, if you're not running through spawn, just keep your gun out. So there's like probably three times now where you had your knife out where you could have gotten peaked or swung. Yeah, pretty minor, but still, yeah, something to think about. So yeah, uh, throwing a wall there, calling to rotate A. I know it's also a lot of information I'm throwing at you, but yeah, um, We'll recap as well. No, that, that was that was generally along my train of thought. Like I really didn't want to commit B here. But, like uh, throwing the wall is good because it makes that it makes it seem like you're actually about to come out, especially right. when the wall comes up. And if you guys can not make it super obvious that you're rotating, then it's a super easy fake. Probably only gonna be like one person on A. Yeah. Uh, this game is actually winnable, honestly. It is. Especially defense wise, it's just the jet. You gotta we gotta kill the jet. I'm kind of. I'm trolling a little bit on the jet. I'm not really taking smart peeks against her. I feel like uh, I think you're playing playing alright. You just you got killed one or two times better, and that time was your knife out. So yeah, yeah. The whole knife thing. I don't know. I kind of it's pretty common. I like thing. the I like the movement buff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is a movement buff? As of it, the speed, the speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, I like the extra speed. And, uh, especially if I'm running back to tiles through that wall. Yeah. It's my basic commit wall. They're going to think I'm committing every time. Reloading. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to fall all the way. No. Fuck. Okay. Uh, good try. That's just kind of all yeah. in school bus blind. So. Yeah, it, it is. I think mid's our best bet, honestly. Going to site is our our team's just running out and just kind of how it goes yeah. seems sometimes. So we can buy down. That's the only thing that's been can, working. Let's just fight this out. I think you can buy full armor here because it's second to last round. So. Yeah, that's what it does. Oh, okay.
So Jet's likely gonna peek mid. Uh, KO's probably gonna knife. Uh, I can do a guardian. Let's do that. Jet could be close mid. Damn. I imagine KO is waiting to second push. Uh, I would. Uh, yeah, it's time to get out. Oh no, spike got stuck. It's tough. It's a good wall for you. Can molly stairs? They're gonna have result though. Remember you, you, you till. Good job. Yeah. That's just one small thing as well this round. You, I know like your team didn't say anything, but if they're running out, you pr you might want to try to wall for them so they don't lose yeah. spike like that. Kind of have to babysit I, them. I got very focused trying to find the KO mid. Yeah. Which is my bad. Also, they're either Molly or Orb just yeah, yeah, to get yeah. the spike done. But still pretty minor stuff. Let's see an aggressive peek here. Peek the KO, don't worry about the knife. And if you don't see yeah. KO, just look for a jet mid. Yeah. Then, then come back, peek your wall, whatever. Could be right side. Molly's. Oh, I thought he was going to kill himself with F. that. Holy. <laughs> yeah, I think your team's actually mute. At least some of them. Uh, yeah. So you like to play where here? Um, first round, usually I'll actually go A, and then I'll swap over to B. And that's because on A, I like to buy the ghost and play the one way right here. So do you swap throughout the half, or no? I do. I, I go to different places throughout. Okay, that's what I was going to suggest, especially this game, because... You kind of yeah. need uh, you kind of need to hard carry this, from what we've seen, yeah. and swap. Your, that's mainly the main way you're gonna be doing that is either swapping sites or like quick rotating if you're only playing one site. Yeah. So, um, just trying to predict where they're gonna go, having nice setups here. I like this one way. You can put one way is pretty much on every choke here in this map as well. Sage anchor, I'm rotating for the team. Reloading spike down B. Can ask for heal. Can I get heal, Sage? For you. Careful mid. Oh. Good try. I really, that, that nade threw me off. Yeah, well, Spike was B main, right? Yeah. Okay, so we didn't need to push here. We could have just- Yeah, I, um, nade, like I said, nade the, that off. nade threw me off. I thought I, I thought she was main for some reason. Okay. Yeah, I would have watched whatever my Sage isn't. Yeah. But it seems like actually they're all on site. I get, there's no way for us to know mm -hmm. that though. You can call that she's two shot. Well, she's less two shot. Yeah, she could have fight armor, I guess. Nice. Okay, so I would. Well, it doesn't matter when you right click headshots. <laughs> I would personally stay A here and play. Yeah. I would play and watch toward main this time because usually when people go A, they go A main and yeah. not always cat. Right. So you can set up however you like, but I would just watch more toward A main this run. Yeah. I'm not gonna put that one way. Do you know the one way for um, main? I don't, actually. Okay. That is one thing I've never really learned. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha. You're ready to help main. Molly, you're ready to Molly. Oh, I'm blind. It's a bat. Holy. Oh, <laughs> she did so much damage, oh, though. That is funny. Literally, you actually traded with that Molly. <laughs> and more. 
I spawned the 30. I guess whenever we went first shot as Viper, we, we just buy a double molly for her. What the hell is Jet doing that she died to that molly? <laughs> I think she dashed like into... Dashed out and then... <laughs> I think she dashed like into it. the wall or something. So now we can know. honestly predict B. Yeah. Because they they came much closer to winning B, so... True. Logically, um, they might want to just come here. Okay, so yeah, we have four people, but I mean... Honestly, you guys might want to do this anyway. really want to get a phantom here, but Spectre it is. Also, a shotgun shorty is fine. Uh, yeah. This is yeah. This is very similar to the A main one, except you see like the rim above that. Ooh, wow! I threw jump instead of jump throw. Please. Please. There it goes. Sheesh. <clears throat> Go get her gun, bulldog. We have. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm getting myself out of this. Oh no. You can jiggle it with your gun. Oh, yep. I'm out of that. It's like they might go B. Or A, I mean, sorry. Uh, I don't know. They w There were two tiles. That's got me a little bit. Yeah. Mm. I like this. You can just chill mid. Looks like the other going A. Oh, yeah. You have mollies. Chuck one there in case somebody's trying to come up. Spike planted. Still have another molly. Eyeballs. Yeah. Okay. Yikes. That's, that's tough. That is kind of just a timing thing. Uh, the unfortunate. First molly you threw is kind. It's not useless, but like, I probably would never consider throwing that one. Fair enough. Um, you can just. Um, I mean, I I understand. I, just, like I have the, a lot of people. I have a lot of people push up on me there. Yeah, that's so fair. I probably would have actually like walked toward there, try to yeah. see, and then maybe broken door or where you went was fine. But yeah, a small uh, critique. Shit. Okay. This is more just for my teammates. I'm peeking mid. Oh wow, she's nuts. Okay. Good try. So also, I notice your buys are sometimes kind of like they're not horrible, but I think we can improve our buys a little bit. Probably, yeah. Um, my economy is rough occasionally. Yeah, uh, it's I know it's I know why it's because you it's because you want to have impact every round and. Right. You want to have like you feel like you don't have if you don't have a good gun it's harder for you to have impact and you're definitely correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, you could call the jet could be a meter cat here. Um, she very well could be. But I don't know where the boot is right now. Yeah, she. I feel like she might flank you. Yep. Oh. But um, yeah. Okay. But you can um you can buy pretty impactful guns for a cheap price like the Marshall for example. Yeah. And still have a lot of money, but. Think about what you're. Think about the armor that you're buying, because that's where you lose a lot of your money. So like right. buying light armor instead of heavy, or buying like a shorty is completely fine. Um, yeah. As well, you just have to learn to play with it, and you have to realize how strong. I know you said it lets you down sometimes, but yeah, you don't need to buy like martial and shorty always. Just buying one, okay, right. is okay sometimes. On that one, it's like I said, I, I subscribed to the King Cammy. School of Force yeah. guys, and. Uh, he kind of explained it best, where it's like this guy's smurfing. Where where it's like the uh, the shorty makes up for all the uh, ranges. The marshal sucks at. You know? Yep, and uh, same with you op as well. It's Let's say really up, dirty. Up. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. It should be fine. I can get a pick here. That we can just. Perfect. Yeah, we can go for a peek and. Fall back yeah. into the one way. That's the idea. I'm, that's the idea I've got. I can push this. Highly doubt they'll expect it. I don't have Sentinel either. They expected it. That's unfortunate. Gas for kill. How the fuck did I get out? Holy. Oh my god. 1B main, call it. 
2 B main. They're gonna push uh, B. B main. 2 B main. 3 B. Yeah, they're gonna come. What a perfect. Shoot the door. I shot the body. Oh, nice shot. I got there. That's Perry. the one person I would have hoped to kill. This is very winnable. Oh, this flash is so cringe. It really is. This is an interesting. This is where I would just half it and almost yeah. stick, actually. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good tray. <clears throat> I think if you halved it first, you actually probably just stuck it. It's unfortunate I didn't get both of them there. Yeah, I mean, it's but... really good that you got the jet. Though. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like you playing duelist could be more valuable. But I. I mean, I almost always say that when someone has, like, relatively good aim so if I you, don't if know. You... I, I just feel like a lot of the time when I just have a bad game I can just I feel like a dick because you know? you're playing duelist yeah yeah it, it happens though regardless of your role and so it kind of it's kind of just uh, performance anxiety I guess sure okay hmm. get anchor here Jet's probably gonna Maybe be looking at you. Yeah, she'd probably be looking at you. Yeah. Probably gonna. No, she's. You can walk up. Walk, oh. Oh Jesus. wow. Okay, My so. My team is actually. They did something. Let's not worry about the one way as much. Um, yeah. The one way's not had that much impact. I didn't really throw the one way there. I just kind of blocked off main in case I heard them like rotate back or something. Yeah. I want you to try to throw an aggressive molly into B yeah. main. Okay. You can put whatever you tell you want down, but I want you to go for this because this is a play that's like really, yeah, uh, really good actually. It's it yeah. really is good at st stopping and splitting up a push. Mm -hmm. And if you have some with you, it could just be devastate devastating. Right. Hey Ko, can you take this with me? Get out of my way. Okay, I think we can push. Do you guys actually watch I this? I have spike outside B. Nice. We don't necessarily need to push. You can ask for okay. heal. He said don't push out. He'll heal me. Very right, good. So this is weird, right? There we go. Every time you push this, someone's sitting back here against this wall watching this. Yeah. Immortal, yeah. this happens like, I'm not kidding you, like 5 or 10% of the time. That's why I said yeah. there's a high chance no one's watching you. Also, maybe go toward A. It's my thought process go here, but I know you have a lot of people here, but honestly, screw it. You uh, could also Sage, just... can you go beat it then? I'd like to take A. You can Viper roll as well. Yeah. We're gonna use that ASAP. I, uh, throw a Molly, gonna, throw a Molly here. I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna early ult this. Molly, Molly first, and then if they're here, you Molly can first. ult. Yeah. Okay. Well, you might want to reposition now. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. It's a lot. Heard. That is the time to run over. I think you go back. Go back? Yes. Okay. Also, you should have canceled your ult. Yeah. Uh, I think the old by the time I got back would have been gone anyway. It was a bit far up. Yeah, that's fair, but if there's someone there... Yeah. You just hide here. Yeah, this is good. Looks like they're med. Probably gonna come cat. Maybe a man as well. Possibly. Your jet's watching that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Raise is in. Beautiful. Jet's gonna Got be the there. Jump. Yeah. Molly? Tag Jet. Jet's aiming. Molly, Molly. Right. Ten seconds left. 
Good job. So yeah, we except did... for the jump, that was a okay yeah. peek on my part. I think <laughs> it's it's all good. Uh, that's that's from jump being on my scroll wheel, and the G Pro yeah. is really sensitive when I'm. Yeah, it's no worry. I'm not even worried I about that. Kind of lower on the, I, I kind of click lower on the button, so it sometimes actuates. What's pre molly main again? You buy like a sidearm yeah. here as well, or you already have one? Okay. Um. Yeah, I picked one up a couple rounds ago. So yeah, pre molly. I think you could have waited like a few more seconds to ult. Usually, like. I know you want it to ult, but we can wait until we hear someone, maybe. Right. So they're gonna right. have ults here. Okay. Okay, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Tell your team to play toward B or mid. You have this. Play right towards B. If your jet plays close cat, this is really good. I have some... Sounds like catwalk, maybe. Could just be a smoke. Yeah, it's a smoke. He's B. This is rough. Spike planted. What a flash. Let's go for it. We have money. You, yeah. you have confidence. Good try. Mm -hmm. Worth going for 100% of the time, given the scoreline, given your money. Right. So I'm not going to tell you where to play here. Um, I'm going to let you predict. Okay, you're opping. I like it. Mm, yeah, I agree. So you also have res. Yeah. You know, I say like you can res me if I die, cat, something like that. So she's ready. Oh, Sage is upping as well. Shit. Um, fine, it's fine. Okay, right. I trust in you for this. I suck. Now you got it. Nice. Never mind. I'm a god. He repeaks with the knife. <laughs> yep, that makes sense. Probably top cat. Probably oh. top cat. He always. He's always yeah. there, almost. I'm just gonna wait for drop. I'm running for us. Oh, okay. Tell her, tell him not to peek. Okay, good. Oh, never mind. They're nuts. Let's go. Let's hold top cat. You want to try to kill his jet? If you kill the jet, I think yeah. the round's free. So play mid. Yeah. Peek. Okay. Hold from right side, bottom mid. This guy is the hard carry. He's kind of good. Yeah. So also, when you're having a really good game on Viper, actually we can talk about this after, where you, uh -huh. where your util is placed, um, yep. is gonna make good players rotate off of that because yeah, yeah. they're gonna want to avoid you. So you can actually double mind game them yeah. in some scenarios, but that's probably thinking a little deep. Can Molly be main? He's there, he's there. I'm gonna drop this for this. Bex. Don't peek. We have heal and res. We have molly. Throw a molly. He's not gonna stick. And fight for res. No way, <laughs> There we go. It's triple headshot him, actually, I think. I think so. What the hell? Okay, you're by another op. Hold the same thing, top cat, because, and then you pick this up the gun. I actually have a gun for you. That's fun. Yeah. They're they're gonna. I think yeah, they're gonna I triple go. headshot. Them. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? So you That's can uh, you can hold this. I feel like they might go A. Maybe throw the orb B again, real quick. Yeah. Got my ult. I don't. Tell your team to um, get ready for A. Get ready for A. Might be defaulting. Possible. Oh. 
sure. That's three. Three B, three B. Oh. <laughs> no shot. He's there. Could be left, I think. No, not left. Oh, he got on. What? Nice. That's why. How the hell did I kill that omen though? He missed like three bursts, four bursts. So you can you can peek from uh you can peek from market like that more con consistently. I'll teach you after. But I notice right. you like to kind of sit and market and wait. And actually, one of the better things you can do is walk out of the smoke to like the left and go yeah. for like a hero play, get like two or three before you die. Right. Because people when they're going out lane, they're not looking at you generally. Right. Okay, so what's the goal here? Just you want to get kills still, I think. Um. Maybe try to fight yeah. mid, or maybe you don't want to fight the jet. I don't know. It's up to you. I don't really want to fight the jet right now. Uh, I'd like to at least give the suggestion of A. I think we fight and then we leave, because generally this is going to get us screwed on this team. Yeah. Okay. Might be pushing. No, she backed. I would put your util. It's a good fake. Yeah. Tell your team to end to B. Go to B. We should go mid to B, that's what I would say. Let's go let's back out, go mid to B. Careful. Jack beer, Jack beer. Could be yeah. pushed B main. Gun out. Yeah, I know. One enemy remaining. Could be anywhere. Probably push somewhere. No idea. Just expect the unexpected. Mm, okay. She doesn't know you're here. Should be good. They are being very loud and very annoying. You just sit here. You sit here and wait. Yeah, this is good. Uh, that's my idea. She might clear you. Um. Yeah. But don't be scared of her. Yeah. No. Okay. Nice. Uh, good. I like I'm sure you, you can see I've got a bit of a crouch crutch. Um, I haven't noticed it too much. Uh. But I haven't been looking at, I haven't paying attention to it too much. Right. So, uh, buy a side armor as well, by the way. Just take yep. the shorty. Yeah, we're, we're ghost good. Um, so, pre mollying A is good. Pre mollying anywhere is good. Right. You can tell your team to avoid peeking mid. It doesn't look like they are going to. Don't peek mid. Uh, it's not worth giving this jet a kill. I like this play a lot. There is one catwalk. Be careful. Cat, this is so sexy. Okay, never mind, I suck. Good trade. Cool. I have noticed <laughs> um, that you do that a little bit, your team's gonna win it. 30 HP KO. Fight, tell them to fight sight and defuse. Fight sight, fight sight. Defuse, defuse. Full confidence, guys. Yeah, Let's so go. I noticed uh, another time you were sitting on the, behind that box, Heaven. Um, yeah. You shot the first person you saw, and they're they're not expect they're definitely not expecting you where right, you just were. I, I get I get that. Yeah, um, you understand what I'm saying, but yeah, just a little trigger discipline. Pretty, pretty we'd be really good there. I, I it's like kind I of unlucky put, there. Oh, yeah, I just feel like I put a lot of uh, trust into my teammates, and a lot of less trust into myself, and I think that's because I have a lot of bad games. This is probably my best game in a little while, yeah. but yeah. Can you click on the uh, lunar near thing? I want to see it. Oh, okay. uh, the only thing I that really sticks out to me is this. I really like this card a lot, but yeah, kind of nothing that. much here. Yeah, new skin set coming soon though. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm very cool. excited. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make a video about the vandal or was it phantom? I think it's a phantom. Yeah.
Okay, uh, you can stop screen sharing. So I wrote a lot of stuff down. Um, most of it is minor. So I don't know if you had like a really big overall problem. So I'm also mm -hmm. downloading a patch, by the way. It's going to take a sec. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'll just go ahead and read some things off for yeah what we talked or what I saw. So right. uh, small and minor uh, gun out. Obviously, we already talked about this. Yeah. Um. So I don't think I need to explain it too much. Pretty mm -hmm. straightforward. Just make sure in certain scenarios you're focusing on keeping the gun out. Yeah. Um, even when you just want to speed and run away. Um, mm -hmm. That's entirely fair, and I knew that jet was pushing over and over. I really should have like had my gun out, especially that one time she killed me mid. But yeah, and it, it is it yeah. is minor, but it is worth uh, mm -hmm. mentioning. Right. So, let's see what else here. So starting in different spots, this is especially important as a duelist. But mm -hmm. also, I'm gonna be saying all the things that are like specific to this game. So yes. by this game, I mean uh, a game where your teammates are kind of trolling and kind of like. You know, just doing whatever they want, even after repeated comms and, like, trying to strategize with them. Yeah. So, whenever that happens, that's what I mean by this game. You want to kind of, like, swap up and try to reposition uh, yes. wh where you start. So, like, starting tiles is really good, but you start at tiles, like, most of the, most of the rounds on um, on attack. Yeah, and I, I noticed the KO kind of started avoiding me there. And yeah, I yeah, exactly. Have started just going somewhere else. So, like, my I love fighting mid on that map. What you did is really good. Right. Um, if you can get away, if there's no one playing cat, you can just walk up mid and don't be scared yeah. of it. Cause I noticed you're kind of hesitant uh, a little bit whenever you're sitting mid, you just kind of want to wait, which is fine. Cause you're also not a duelist. So you don't need to do that. Right. Um, but that's what I would say. And then also starting a main B main, you, like people in your rank have this conception that if you start a main or B main that you have to push the site or right. it's just it's not that that's their conception it's just that they don't understand you can just leave that probably leaving is the best option in a lot of cases yeah basically you can start somewhere alone especially if you're a duelist uh, as long as your team isn't hard pushing the other site like as soon as the round starts um right you know you can you can just look for kills there as well you don't need to fight from tiles even though fighting tiles is perfectly fine mm -hmm. so overall good job there um you, you had some really your, your aim is pretty solid the way you peak is pretty good yeah. Um, I know you said peaking positioning. What did you, what do you mean by that as your main weakness? Um, a lot of times I just get caught out in just really stupid spots. I feel like I did a little bit better this game about it because I was more actively thinking about it, but, uh, okay. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I feel like in, in day to day gameplay, I just, uh, I can get caught out in a lot of really dumb positions that I probably shouldn't be playing. I think your peaking is better than your positioning. I think your positioning could use a little bit of work, but also mm -hmm. I think that your confidence could use a little bit of work. Again, I know you're not on a duelist, but I think your aim is really good for mm -hmm. um, this game anyway. I think it was pretty solid. Yeah. Um, like, borderline as good as that enemy j enemy jet. And if you're on jet, mm. you might be able to perform as such. But also, Same. my client is bugged. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, the scenario where you're like on a 1v4, and yeah. it's like 9-11 or whatever the scoreline was, yeah, I, would, I was I, I was really scared to push yeah, that. Yeah, exactly I, my point. I wanted to, but everything in my brain was telling me this is a dumb idea. I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get... Yeah, I'm like, gonna get even though it's... I mean, in reality, it's a, it's a slim chance that you're going to win. Not really even a slim right. chance. Like, honestly, that's that's the point of aim training. Like, you can actually win. How, how you peak, how you position, you can yeah, actually have a pretty high chance to win, win that. Almost you play anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you can almost win anything. So, um... Okay, can you see, by the way? Yes, I can. Okay. So, um, you can win almost anything, exactly. So, like, if you play that correctly, but you already have to right. be in the mindset of that I can win it, because right. even just a few seconds can be the difference between, you know, winning and losing. So, right. if you're already prepared to take the fights and someone peeks you, then there's the first skill. Because a lot of times in scenarios yeah. like that, people will play really aggressive, especially in any rank, but especially in your rank, people are going to mm -hmm. be ego machines that just peek you. And right. 4v1s, because they want the last kill. They're like, ah, oh, yeah. this is a free run. You should take advantage of things like that. Um, another positioning thing is kind of whenever we're talking about peeking out from market on defense. Yes. So if, if we have, uh, like, one person on, on B here defending, and then it's just yeah. you, and then the rest of your team's rotating from A to B, mm -hmm. um, it's really worth it to... We don't have spike. We're on defense. 
So this is smoked. Um, one thing that you did was you like shot into the smoke like this. So this yeah. is like a medium risk, like low reward type thing to do. Cause it's kind right. of low chance for you to get uh, shot through the smoke and die. But it's even yeah. lower chance for you to get a kill here, unless you have like right. a Sova dart or something, which in that case, it's perfectly fine to do. Normally right. I would just kind of chill like right here uh, in, the, in the smoke, but not like in this. So I get spammed. And then I'm just going to wait right. until I hear them like right here. And then after I hear them, I'm just going to run out like this. Of course, I'm playing Grana so I can dismiss away. But right. even as Viper, like this is completely fine. If you don't want to do that, you can like ping something like this. Here. Molly's is something I really want you to think about. Something like this. Yep. Um, because if you do this, you can actually peek off of them. Vi uh, Molly's really good at splitting people. Also, aggressive Molly's like this. Have you ever done anything like this before? Where you, like, the server um, I have. I kind of stopped doing it after I got out of uh, bronze a while back. Yeah. And the reason I stopped doing it was because people just started rushing through it and headshotting me as they aimed at Oh, okay. Better. Yeah, yeah. So, one thing I will say, just like how we said to wait for sound for the ults over here. Yeah. Uh, right. Whenever you do this, try to wait. Unless, you, unless you're, like, really predicting that they're coming here and they're going to, like, hard push. Yeah. Just try to yeah. listen. If you hear a few steps, then you can shoot it, and then you can just hide. Because, yeah. like, you don't really need... You don't need to be out here to molly, so you shouldn't get headshot. Right. You can kind of just, like, do this. You can even jiggle to wait, and then you can throw it out a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and this could be pretty devastating, especially if someone's, like, spamming this. Yeah. Or just for, like, chunk damage, just right, a little right, bit right. of damage. Splitting right. them, slowing them down as well, it's useful. Um, also, so we're on attack. We actually did come up mid once. Yeah. So we take this fight a lot good here. Uh, you know they keep your right side, you're aware of that. You peek here, here. Um, so whenever you're coming up here, you're hes a little hesitant right here. I, But right. again, you're not, you're not a duelist, so maybe I'm being a little bit nitpicky there. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't, can't remember where your team was positioned. Um, if I remember right, I had two players in B main. And I think one was still tiles. One was top mid for some reason. Okay, so... If I remember right, this either is... dead or top mid. This is pretty okay. Um, if if your team's all going A, definitely I would suggest walking on mid here. Yeah. Because just sitting here is not good. Uh, either way, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna cross, so you're gonna have vision here anyway to get to A. So you right. might as well walk up mid for a kill. Check both sides. Uh -huh. So I think you got a kill on like a guy right here with his smokes out or something. I can't remember. Right. Um, you kill them, and then your instinct was to continue running forward. My instinct yeah. is to, to instantly run back. But right. what can we do before we run back? Molly, um, when I was going forward there, what I was wanting to do was I was actually wanting to cut through market and then maybe okay. take a long range fight because I had a vandal against the guy uh, A because I, I figured most of them at that point had either gone to CTB, which market is kind of harder to fight from there. Okay. Because uh, of a little bit of high ground. Okay. So this is this is okay. Um, what I would right. say is it's kind of an unnecessary fight to take. Right. So like walking up here is good because we're attacking and we need right. we need a numbers advantage. But now we have the numbers advantage, and yeah. so what's gonna happen is the enemy team is gonna look in the map where their teammate died and they're gonna think, okay, mid. I should probably make sure that they aren't pushing through mid into my spawn. Right. So <laughs> what you can do is do something. I would, you can either molly or orb, but orb's yeah. probably gonna be better because it's gonna be like there it's for a, a while well. and it's also yeah it's gonna they're gonna notice it for sure you throw it directly yeah. in the middle this this smoke's also just really good for like yeah and that's good and that's gonna that's gonna make them think twice about pushing a because of the hp penalty and uh yeah because that means i could still be there yeah and like this this is really just it's just really tough Very for strong. them to deal with yeah it's really good right and so if you don't kill the guy here this is probably not as not as good to do because they still don't know that right. you're technically here and they're probably not gonna expect it so yeah. You just make sure, like, if you could just get to this spot, this is really strong. Um, I right. wouldn't suggest you always do this play because, again, you're Viper. You probably want to be going into sight relatively with your team because you have mollies, you have yeah. util that's useful, especially no, if you have your ult. But in games where you want to carry like this, this is really good. Um, so, yeah, orb after pick aggressively or molly. So then, right. then after right after I throw that, I'm running back and grouping with my team or telling my yeah. team where I want to go. That's another thing we could work on. Um, is just like I think I think one thing I was worried about was because the KO after I killed him like three times, he started just continually flashing the yeah uh, right here. Yeah, and so I was worried about him still being there, and that was why I didn't really want to run around like that. Yeah. Also, what we can do is whenever, whenever you're peeking someone like this, just to give you like yeah. some data. Um, mm -hmm. so say it's like four or five, six rounds in, and you're still right. thinking about this KO. 
and you see him as a threat if you just before the round like hit tab see your score line look at the ko score line i think the ko is kind of bad i could be wrong but yeah. i think he had like a lower like not bad as in general but just this game he's right. performing bad so that can give you somewhat of an idea of how he's going to be playing he's probably going to be scared if he's losing all the fights not necessarily scared but mm -hmm. he's going to be playing less aggressive or he should be right. anyway and even if he is playing aggressive still if he has a bad score line you can just win but right. obviously you want to be careful with the flashes i think one time he flashed like over here yeah. just weird so yeah um so yeah but what was i gonna say yeah so also i think another thing we could work on is calming so like saying certain comms like i'm mainly thinking about communicating when to rotate out of areas because like we said right these, this rank has a one track mind of if we're in these two spots we have to go to these yeah. sites yeah. but you you already know that we can go here and we can just yeah. leave like that's a really really valuable mm -hmm. play the point of going here can just simply be to look for kills see if they're gonna peak uh in silly ways also i just thought of this um whenever you're coming here like you can actually molly like this if they peak aggressively yeah and this can really help you take space probably throw it a little deeper but right. uh, if people like to peek this it forces them to run out or run back yeah, they either have to run out and take the fight, and uh, then, or they have to get the, the the hell out of there, and then either way, it's a little bit of chip damage on them. Exactly, and the main purpose of this is, while this is down, which is like quite a few seconds, it gives yep. you time to get all the way like up to this wall here with your team, and right. you can choose what you want to do. If you just want to peek, look around, you know, mm -hmm. fight, smoke, stuff, run out, ro rotate yeah. if you don't see anyone, stuff like that. Uh, and sometimes if you throw this molly and they're up against... This wall right here, they might actually peek yeah. you. So you can just, you can also do this in B main, like right here or wherever. But really anywhere, like corners, you know, that's another way you can use mollies. So yeah, overall util usage, your util usage on Viper could be a little bit better. Right. Um, it's not really that bad. It's just putting a little more thought into what we can do with uh, util yeah. when we can do it. Yeah, I'm very much guilty of just like choosing a setup and sticking to it in the court. Yeah, um, that's fine. Like throwing the same wall every round is completely fine. I'm not going to harp at you for that. Just. Like, in scenarios like this, where it's like a 2v1, we need to get the spike here. We have orb and a molly. Like, I'm 100% like throwing a molly here or throwing something. Right. Because this yeah. is really good. Again, it's just a vision block. This isn't really. I would throw it farther back because it's going to be too far out. Yeah, that one's just a fear of being peaked while I have my shit out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I understand right. that, definitely. Also, a cool thing we get on Viper that we see like really high, like pro players do. Um, I've only seen this a few times, but you know who Nats is? Uh, yeah. So, like, he does this thing where he'll throw the orb. He'll activate yeah. it. He'll activate it, run in, and pick it up. And, and then, then fight. Out. Yeah, fight or yeah. run away. Duck or duck out. Yeah, either duck way. So, this is, like, really, really good. Uh, you threw a wall here, but I don't think you had your orb. But if you did, you can do something like I, this. Yeah, no, I have my orb on the uh, floor for uh, for main. So, yeah, this, you notice this actually stays for a little bit after when you pick it up. Yeah. So I don't play Viper, but this is a cool little trick. For I've sure. played this. I've I've played like this a couple of times. I feel like I again a lot of my utility stuff uh, is me being scared to use it because I've lost fights doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's and just a matter. I, of... I told you like uh, I told you like I've got some 200 hours until the I, the amount of times I've just been randomly swung out of nowhere arrows. while my team wasn't watching while I had arrows out. Yeah, or drone. Yeah. It it, it kind of builds a very specific type of fear in you. Yeah, it also comes down to like trial and error because like, I mean, obviously there's always gonna be some elements of risk. Even if they're standing right here, you can just get wide swung. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but you have to kind of wage. You know at what point is this a good molly at what point is this a bad molly so like the spikes right. here we need to get it to win the round or we need to kill him if he's not going to peek us for like 10 15 seconds we're sitting here right what are the risks of coming behind this wall assuming like the door's closed and everything and then like jiggling mm -hmm. throwing it to get the spike you know um yeah so obviously yeah if you're getting killed with it out in the middle of nowhere that's tough as well um so i don't blame I did, you for that but. i i uh i did go a little bit on autopilot uh during that part of the game as well because i was i'm not gonna lie when i've got teammates like this and i'm basically doing all the work it, it it's it's fatiguing yeah it and is and i uh i i did kind of mentally check out for like two or three rounds there and then you kind of grounded me uh, yeah and that's that's what getting out of this rank really takes like it's not even right that these players are that good and that you're having a hard time winning against them it's just Right. Like the fundamental things to win rounds that people right. neglect to focus on. Everyone wants to think about my aim so good, my ability usage is so good. Why can't I win? I get 30 kills every round or every game. But yeah. really, if you're not winning the rounds, it just doesn't matter. And if you're not, if you're not helping your team 
because I mean you don't have to help your teammates to win games, but if you could just say like you know call strats and stuff, this is gonna be really useful. Right, right. Um, trying to lead, trying to be like somewhat of a leader, and trying not to get too mad at your teammates. Trying to let, even if you're really angry at one of your teammates or all of your teammates, trying not yeah. to let it show through. And it, um, if someone's um, being toxic, you can just mute them up as well. Yeah, that, that's one thing I do, uh, and it, it bugs uh, Gus and Kraken, because uh, they they hear it. I, I keep my raging off the mic, but oh my god, I can rage hard. It, it, <laughs> I do that's too, just, don't worry. That's usually, that's usually like really late in the day, though, after I've played a few games, or when I haven't played in a few days and I get back on. Yeah, some, some sometimes days... I do take a, I, I take a couple, I, I, I'll take a couple days off every once in a while just to like, my head because this game is, is something yeah pain. <laughs> um i can relate to that a lot uh right some days it's just like your brain is just on rage mode like i don't know if you get that but sometimes yeah, i'll play and just like sometimes tiny you're just things, angrier <laughs> some tiny little things just irritate me and i i just know that right. i need to stop playing yeah and so there's no like there's definitely grace in figuring out when to take breaks and of when course. to stop playing right uh, that'll save you a lot of elo for sure <laughs> yeah um Okay, so I have what else? So I wrote down babysit teammates. Uh, babysit that, teammates. <laughs> all of that, all of that kind of kind of relates to, like a few of the things we said, like call strats, uh, mute, yeah. mute people. But like even if you mute people, even if you mute your whole team, you can still pretend to call them to them, calm as if they're not muted. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I think that's always kind of funny to me. But I do that actually sometimes, uh, right. and you can still win games because people still listen to you. Um, right. Uh, buys are weird sometimes. Uh, I think we talked about that a little bit. So like, yeah, this min next round. I you probably know about it, right? Like, do you look at this? Right. Do you look at that whenever you buy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I do. Okay, I good. do a lot. So you don't always need to buy heavy armor, but like, try to buy with your team. But if your team's just buying like trash, try to at least buy on a consistent like rhythm or like schedule. If I don't know if that makes sense. Right. But try not to force every single round. So by like if you're gonna if you lose first round you can you can force but if you are gonna force at least try to tell your team to force as well, and yeah. So if your team forces that collectively and then you lose again, then don't force the next round. Try to just save up, um, right. stuff like that. And if you're on a save run like around that you know you need to save, you can always go light armor or no armor if you want to just stick to a gun. I do that sometimes. Like yeah, sometimes I'll literally just buy Vandal, but also I play Rena so I can just get full armor anyway. Right. Um. So a lot of that um. Force, force, force. It comes from uh, wanting to perform. I played a little bit of CS:GO. <laughs> oh, okay. And so, uh, I I'm a rifler in CS:GO. I don't op at all. I don't know why, but the op in CS:GO feels really hard compared to this game. And I think it's because it's 64 tick. But uh, yeah. I've heard much of the uh, opposite, but I actually don't have a an opinion know. on it. I don't know. I uh, I just find opping in this game really easy. But in CS:GO, I think I, can't I think opping is definitely easy. <laughs> but um, either way, I feel. Uh, a lot of that comes from I am a rifler, and if I did, if I don't have an AK or an M4 in CS:GO, I am, I'm not getting anything, you know. Yeah. So. And it, that mentality can carry over. Yeah. So one thing we could do to combat that mentality is, yeah, uh, get really good at some other guns, which is probably right. why, because like you probably feel like you can't perform as well with, um, other guns as compared to like right. Vandal or Phantom or whatever gun you're using. Yeah. So Guardian's a really good uh, alternative. You bought Stinger, which sh surprised me. You bought it just once, did you? I think. So it's a good, it's, um, it's a decent force. Um, yeah, my the Stinger is, I love it. I really do. Uh, I really wish they didn't nerf it, to be honest. But so it's. I do really like it a lot. Uh, I don't really ADS with it. I know you were kind of talking to my ear, trying to tell me to ADS yeah. with it. Yeah. I think it's um, trash personally. Uh, whenever I use this gun, <laughs> I like. Try to kill people with this. You actually did pretty good with it, but I usually yeah. try to do this, and my it just feels so RNG. Um, which it is it why definitely is. is. But um, that's why it's the price it is, I guess. And also they didn't nerf it into the ground. So. Right. Uh, but a for lot, the same a price. Lot of the reason uh, I I use it like that is when I am on stinger mode, I am Reyna. <laughs> You're just running in. I am running in. Yeah. I am getting as close as possible so I can get as many bullets into my. So that's the mentality I want you to have in other rounds, like the round where you run right. before. Like, why not have that mentality that round? Like, it's, it's. Um, there's no reason not to have it there. It's just a yeah. matter of swapping it. This is what. Like, I don't know. Like, it, what? It's it. Is I feel it, like a lot of it is because it was a later game mm -hmm. and I was really nervous about losing the rounds because, it, like, it, it was a 9-11 scoreline. Yeah, yeah. I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna be the reason we lost the game. Sure. 
Yeah. But, um, so also, would you say you're you're more confident running in on second round because you lost first round? Uh, yes, actually, I am a lot more confident on a counter force. Yeah, because you kind of even just, like, just save. I just kind of run in. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good to hear because that's something that people don't understand. You can do is like I kind saves. of. A lot of people, and, and the reason I do that is because a lot of people after they win and they force up, they're thinking like, oh, they're gonna be scared. They're get they're gonna not have guns. We can kill them easy. Yeah, exactly. If you're if you're more brave than they expect you to be, uh, it can throw them off. And I've had a lot of people whiff on me with like even Vandal force ups, and I get a free gun second hand. Yeah, exactly. Because I just rush in, I rush in after them with a classic or something. Yeah, and so uh, what I was gonna say is, so the Marshall and the Stinger are the same price. Yeah. Um. So the Marshall is, I would say, leagues better than the Stinger, and not obviously every scenario. So if like right. point blank to someone, then probably Stinger is gonna be better. So you scoped your. Yeah. Aim. If I were taking, if I if I were taking um if I were taking A that round. We took B that round, so I did, did Stinger. If I were taking A, I probably would have gotten the Marshall. Because yeah. it's a lot more like long angles. So, and... I saw you scoping a lot with yeah. this. Do you ever no-scope? Yeah. Um, I only no-scope if they're like really, really close to me. Okay, I want you to understand uh, this right now. Like, look how, look I, how broken I, I understand the... how accurate it is. Yeah, it's yeah. just, I love it actually. It's kind of broken. It's like a point one, even, or a 1.1, even uh, unscoped. And I'm just like, why is that even a thing? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, okay. So, if you don't, it's all good, but... Right. Maybe buy Marshall more than Stinger. Uh, that's not really yeah. that big of a deal. I, was I, I need to put I need to put more practice into the Marshall. I used to be pretty good with it. I had an alt I would just Marshall only on, but uh, yeah, I um, I, uh, I was I need just, to get good with it again. I was just pointing out your your buys. That's pretty much where all this stems from. Right. So like, if you want to focus on other things, that's how we can get so. stop forcing. So like, Sheriff's a really good option. Um, I saw you buy yeah. it like once. This is probably the best option for save rounds whenever you don't have enough money. Um, if you can't buy mm -hmm. something like the Marshall, if you have enough money to buy something, but not one of these, you can go yeah. Guardian. Bulldog's actually really good now. Um, Ares is right. still very good, but not as good as it was when it was completely broken. Of course. Um, Spectre's good, but yeah. So that's I know I definitely that. should buy the Sheriff more. I It kind of crawls back into that performance anxiety. I As much as I hit clean shots with it, like I did on the jet, uh, I whiff horribly. Yeah. Is this Is this your wall? Essentially, uh, it's a little bit more to the left because it cuts off stairs as well. That's what it's for like that. Yeah Okay, so um, I wrote two things down about your wall mm -hmm. um, The first is that whenever you wall this you're actually so if your team doesn't want to push you're actually cutting mm -hmm. off the potential for some kills um, yeah. so if this is up and you're not pushing then like if someone's yeah. out here or you know wherever like this is a free chance for you to kill which is kind of the point of coming in here again like you don't right. have to come here to just push also i noticed on i think it was the first round maybe we had the wall up mm -hmm. and you're kind of just like running over here i would have placed my crosshair definitely like on the wall just right. to like where you think they're gonna like probably gonna come through either here or like somewhere right here so I would just be pre um, expecting that. Yeah, honestly, I, sh I know I should have been very much more aware of that because, especially since I had a Phoenix, they could flash through my wall. Yeah. Um, which is always worrisome with a Phoenix if they know how to play him. Yeah, again, which this is a minor Phoenix thing. Phoenix did not know how to play Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, I think he got flashed Let's by him Let's just get that once. one out of the way. He did not know how to play Phoenix, but, uh... Yeah. It's really the yeah, no, that, that could have been very scary, but... So, um, other than that, I have one more thing here. It says... Right. Play for kills, play default, uh -huh. uh, win in doubt. So, again, this is going back to playing different areas. So, right. you're going to want to, like, on this map, for example, you can fight here. You can fight from here, up here, and then here. Right. And you can, from here, you can go from anywhere at mid. You can go from mid all the way here like you did. Throw the orb here. And then yeah. you can also come up cat, which you didn't do. It's one of my favorite plays to, to go for. So I it, usually go up cat. I just felt like with this team, I didn't really have the... Um, and the jet also is kind of scary. The jet was scary. The my team just kind of they. I think they went cat a couple of times, but I was not really willing to go with them because I didn't. Yeah. Like trust them to really too much. Yeah, it's especially like, like it, it's mean. It, it's mean, but I'm like. No, it's know. it's it's real. Yeah, <laughs> it's especially with this KO though. It's like the KO isn't that good. You just have to realize that we can win against them. And again, right. our objective going here isn't to take a site necessarily. Like I often get all the way up to yeah. here here without yeah with still not really planning on going to site until my team either either says all right let's go to a or uh fall back let's go mid b wherever right. and this is obviously higher play but you can clear like this clear all these angles 
Um, and then usually you'll find someone like here. Some of it, like, you know how you found yeah. the omen? He's just sitting here like with a smoke out or whatever. Right, you can right, often right. find people like sitting right here against this wall or something. They're not really expecting you, even in like plot. Yeah. What, wait, what work is this gold? This, uh, this is gold, but it's filled with like X plat. Plat, okay, yeah, though. it felt kind of like plat, especially with that job. Yeah. Um, plat is the rank where you have god tier aim aimers, but people that know how to aim often are just trash at everything else. Yeah. Either that or vice versa. I would say you have a lot of, you're pretty like averaged out on everything, except your aim is above average. You just need to work on your positioning. Mm -hmm. Um, and most of the things we talked about, I'm gonna go ahead and send you a picture of all the stuff I wrote down so you can remember. Yeah. And I'll also have timestamps in the video. Um, okay. but yeah, I'd like to wrap up relatively soon. Um, okay. Do you have any other questions? Um, we can go into like five, 10 minutes if you have questions. I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking like, how exactly sh should I position myself better? That, um, I, I, that's the one thing that's always bugged me because like I always know my positioning isn't great But I've never really known how to position better. So this depends on like what we're talking about. So yeah, um, I noticed you kind of Your positioning isn't really that bad. It's just to me positioning means a lot of things But for you specifically right uh, positioning means swapping up your location where you start at right right Especially as a duelist, but especially also in games like this where your teams just yeah, you know uh, right. glue eaters, but also yeah. not every game is going to be filled with glue eaters. So, if you, <laughs> if you if you're playing Viper with good teammates, then you can go and right, like actually do what you're supposed to do with Viper to go site. Yeah. So I otherwise, like, yeah, now, positioning. Yeah, I feel like um that that specific thing is uh very much limited to my Viper. I feel like Viper is the only character I really do that with. Uh, uh, where I just don't change anything up. Okay, um, okay, okay. Yeah. And that's because Viper can be kind of a static character because a lot of her stuff, like you put it down, yeah. it's like, that's it. Especially if you're like throwing a wall for a site, there's not many. Right, right, right. There's only limited walls you could throw that are good. And and once it's down, it's down. Like it's yeah. Over. But, so getting I, out I of, know. I think positioning for you can kind of on Viper at least relate to autopiloting, like you right. said. Um, yeah. But also positioning means a lot of things, so that's why I have a hard time just telling you exactly what it could mean. But another thing is this right here. So like, there's a smoke here. Mm -hmm. Positioning forward. Uh, whenever there's only one person on site, and you're you're mm -hmm. like obviously you want to make a play here because you don't really want to give them sight for free. So if you right. can get like one or two, if you can get two, then that's really good. And then you die. Yep. Even if you don't die, you get two. That's really good. Instead of kind of just sitting back and waiting, giving letting them take sight here while you're just chilling. Right. I, f I feel like uh, that one comes from a subconscious thing. I very confident on that fight. Uh, market the stairs. Oh, okay. I get a lot of kills that way. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm fairly confident in that, and I, I'm sure you saw that. Yeah. Like, I took that fight more than I took any other fight in the in the map. Yeah, this is a really good fight to take, too. Um, yeah. But it's just, as they're getting out sight, they can't really be stairs yet. It, I mean, as long as right. you have the timing right. Um, right, right. Uh, there was one time where you're, like, mid, so you had to fall back. So you aren't really sure if they're here, so that's fine in that right. scenario. But if this is smoked, and, like, the smoke is kind of like here. this, um, right. like, some of the smoke might be able to cover you from here. Yeah. So you can actually get it with doing this and then coming back waiting for the smoke to clear after you kill one doing something like that i'm waiting yeah. you don't have to do that obviously but this is just an idea um also there's other positioning things but those are the major ones for you on this right. map um the other one was like chilling here i would have probably looked yeah. to make a play somewhere a little bit sooner but mm -hmm. um it's not really oops my mouse just did that too that's weird <laughs> i have a g pro super light. yeah yeah i've got i've got a basic g pro I don't know why. That happens sometimes. My yeah, it's, sensor. It seems to only happen with G Pro as well. It might just be G Hub. I I, Maybe, I don't yeah. use the onboard memory manager, but uh, I probably should. But yeah, no, the G Pro likes to spin out sometimes. Mine out was nowhere. Mine actually stopped working like when I first got it, but now it's actually fine. Like it stopped working yeah. for like a split second. Um, uh -huh. Just like randomly, I don't know why, but now it's all good. That's odd. Yeah, I thought it, was uh, it might have been it. an update because I think there was an update that. Fix everything. I don't know. Very yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So I, you get the picture I sent you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. so I'd like to wrap up. We're in hour twenty. You have a, a final question or anything? Um. No. Not really. Okay. You think this was other than the completely superfluous? How the hell did that omen not kill me when I had the op? Oh yeah, that was uh, that was something. <laughs> that was might need to go to the range. <laughs> it was shooting the, the giraffe or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, you think this is helpful though for in general um, or maybe for Viper? 
For Viper, yeah, probably, because you got me uh, using my mollies a lot more. Because I was yeah, so maybe I'm specifically my mollies. I maybe just gonna go ahead and assume that maybe um, you might do this on other characters since you flex. Mm -hmm. So like, I think this also goes back to flexing. So like, big picture here, um, right. if you don't play uh, the same agent consistently, then you're gonna not be as comfortable using your utility. Um, right. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that other agents you maybe play only occasionally. You might not use their utility as much as you could mm -hmm. or as efficiently as you could so maybe keep an eye out for that because that's definitely something here like thinking how to use viper or molly like this or thinking how yeah. to use sage wall like you know something crazy right, right, right. uh stuff like that right um that could really elevate your play throwing stuff like this of so yeah yeah i'm, I'm kind of that. yeah but yeah your viper is honestly pretty good it could be pretty good also i'd like to see ult more and yeah Ulti, a lot of the time, I don't use it simply because I'm not entirely certain where I should. Yeah, it's always good to just, like, have... Say, like, alright, guys. So, if you're playing A, it's a good uh -huh. to try to get your whole team to rotate out of A, and then you have, like, one person cat, and then you ult. Yeah. The rest of your team stacks mid and B, or vice versa. So, you have, like, one person... Right. You're the single player ulted, like, right up here somewhere. Right, close, because my, close my, my ult is one of the most powerful in the game right now. Yeah, it, it just, it forces the HP, bunk, the, the HP penalty. Yeah, it forces people to, like, people are very, very, very likely not going to just walk into the Viper ult. They're most likely going to avoid it. So, if you put it down, like, right here, for example, and then you have one person helping you, supporting you watch mid, um, yeah. even if this person dies, it just tells you, okay, they're probably going to come from mid. They're still going to have a really yeah. hard time pushing site, because, like, all of this and here is blocked right. off, like, if you sit right, back right. here and like I don't know, you just you have to figure out how to play with it, but it's incredibly yeah, yeah. strong. So I maybe play some more Viper, honestly. Um, like buying Ascent, Haven's really pretty good. Um, yeah. <laughs> Breeze really really good. Um, maybe next time I'll play Duelist since he say I might do okay on Duelist. So I think maybe next like time. I think confidence is something you need to work on too, but it's not. Yeah. I don't think it's a super big deal. It's just like snares like where you're trying to clutch here, just having the right. confidence to go for it, and then also. Having the confidence to yep. go for peaks or going positioning yourself in positions where it feels uncomfortable and just right. knowing that it's just a matter of winning a 1v1. Right. And if you're on a duelist where you have like the free get out of jail free card, um, right. Rena, Rena dismiss, jet dash, stuff like that, it's going to make it easier for you to build confidence, I think. Yep. But yeah, um, it was fun to coach you. At. I enjoyed it. I, 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 it was fun to be coached. That's it's very uh it's very much a different thing. Is it your first time being coached? <laughs> it is. Yes. Uh, nice. Yeah. Um, wait. Are you uh are you the cousin of the son and father? I was cousin of I was I was a cousin of the uh, son. Oh okay. Of the father. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. Cool. That's really cool actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Like I like I told you in the uh in the DMs like. It, Ghost was just continually like <laughs> making an ad for you, basically. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, I love coaching people, so. Right. Um. Yeah, but also if you have other questions, you can just DM me whenever I um I yeah I respond quite quickly on Discord. So. Yeah, I I I, I notice that sometimes I walk away from my computer, I come back and I'm just like, what the hell? You <laughs> messaged me 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Like five minutes after I. Fucking, yeah. I um. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just like helping people, I guess. So. Yeah. I, I mean that's a that's an entire thing, and I get that because I used to be that way, and then you know things happen. But. Yeah. Um, so yeah, otherwise, um, we can end it here. Uh, again. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a good rest of your day. I will yeah. talk to you later. See ya. See ya. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this uh, video. Sorry, it's a bit longer, but hopefully the timestamps will help. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe, join my Discord, all that stuff.